Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokey in here. Today I have a ZU Showdown Live, continuing our Shift Tree Suspect Test run. Now, I wanted to uh, record this from a festival, but he's watching a football game today, so I'm not going to, like, you know, stop him from that. That's his passion, right? Football or soccer, as us Americans call it. But, um, yeah, thank you everybody for all the positive feedback on that last video with him. I really do appreciate it. This is, like, video number four of ZU that I have up. Because I did one on Patreon with him, we did one on his channel, and obviously one on my channel. So we're going to be continuing this. This is actually a revamp of the Hail team that uh, we fought. And uh, my Patreon user, my Patron, my Patron, 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 Pat, my Patron, okay, Patron, that's the word I was looking for, my bad. <laughs> it's like, I was just freaking out of there. Um, he passed me this revamp version of it, and it has like Snover over Amora, it has a Z Celebrate Glaceon, and has a few other things. Now, he did want me to give my thoughts on it. Uh, I think the best way to give thoughts on it on uh you know a team that you don't know anything about the tiers to play with it and then as i'm live recording i say okay we're a little bit weak to this how can we fix this and just keep going but yeah um we have a snowbird nice little glacial with z celebrate and the blizzard a togetic with roost defog dazzling gleam and thunder wave uh what you got for a well played bear tick a monferno with stealth rock as well as a nice shift to check and a focus sash cadaver so we got some good pokemon does not have a rock resist that's something i can immediately see uh just one look uh from looking at it but yeah uh let's go ahead and look for a battle thank you by the way everybody uh my end of the year goal was 200,000 subscribers and i am less than 400 subs away from 200k which is so cool and it certain shield isn't even out you know so to be able to hit my goal without even the you know the boost of a new game is so cool i really do appreciate all that support another thing champion merch hopefully i want to say today they keep changing the day they keep having to do things uh, I'm so excited about that. Uh, still, no, yeah, I just got a, uh, a DM right now. Um, still no update on the launch, man. I'm hassling our engineers. I appreciate that, man, but like, yeah, I can't can't do anything about that. That's their they're setting up like a page and everything for that. So, uh, I'm still so excited. And I'm glad you guys are stoked and love the design. If you haven't seen it, you can check it out on Twitter or my Instagram. Links always down below. But um, yeah, uh, those prices. It's a brand, so I can't control them. I keep saying that because I want y'all to be ready when you see the prices, not my usual prices, all right? I always try to make things affordable because I can set the prices, but this is this is Champion and Teespring doing their thing. But yeah, let's pause the video and uh, look for a game. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we have our first game, and uh, I don't have a rock resist. He has a Rampardo. <laughs> Yo, help me. Help me. Glaceon, though, ain't so bad. It's not a bad at all, man. Ooh, with that snow cloak gonna be kind of fire. Uh, I have no idea how I'm supposed to beat this though. I, I don't. Hmm. I want to go towards an endgame of Glaceon. I think I just need a little bit of chip on this because Avalog doesn't have the best spadef. And though it could have Roar. Uh, and a little bit on Muck. Though I'm not as worried about Muck because I'm gonna do a ton to it anyway. How do I not lose to Rampardos before he beats me? Luckily, my Bear Tick is pretty good here considering he doesn't have an, a, a resist to the combination of ice fighting and water. Um, so he doesn't have like a Shedinja or something, but yeah, Bear Tick is going to be really key here, I think, with its speed. I just got to worry about losing immediately uh, to Rampardos. And I think I actually want to go with the Monferno lead because uh, while Rotom Fan and Rotom Fan is pretty good in re versus me and so is Chatot, um, I like the idea of potentially threatening him with rocks early. I wonder how he's going to react to this. He might just Earthquake, but if he does, I should live it. I should live Earthquake, and then uh, he goes for Protect, so that's amazing. Uh, I should live whatever attack he goes for. I, dude, I did four. All right, well, I got blown away there. <laughs> but that's the damage I want on Avalog, though. That's the damage I want on Avalog, because uh, that's going to help out my Glaceon. First off, that's fully physically defensive, right? 35% from a Stab CC. Uh, I don't know what type of Savali this is. Maybe it's Dark, but or Water. That's completely fine. I need damage on this thing too in order to win the game with my um, my Glaceon. So we'll go for another Psychic. While I do want my Sash intact, uh, I actually managed to get a defense uh, Spadef drop and on a turn that I knew he'd defog, right? So this basically should ensure a kill for me. And because it's on Silvali Water, again, that opens up Glaceon so much. And my Sash is still intact. I mean, how he, had he went for Parting Shot or U-Turn there, obviously U-Turn would have broken my Sash. Parting Shot wouldn't have mattered too much, especially if he went like Rampardos, because I could go for Counter and blow that thing back. But we get rid of Silvali Water. I got a little bit of chip on Avalog as Rotom Fan is going to come out. And um, 
I don't know if he air slashes here, but I do like the idea of getting up hill. I just died. Do I go for game? I mean, I got what I needed, didn't I? Shoot, I think I do it. Let's go. Time to celebrate. What's up? Okay, so he can only have so many moves. And one of them is probably going to be Avalanche. I don't know if Toxic is one of them. Does he have Ice Body or Sturdy? All right, he doesn't have Sturdy. I'm clicking Blizzard. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Ooh, this thing already put it in more work than that video with Envy. Bro, what's up, man? Oh, and if he goes Rampardos and he's Scarf? I'm modest, my man. Ooh, it's kind of clean. Muck? Hold up. You about to take some damage. Sucks that Ramparos is faster than me, but I have Snowcloak on my side. Plus, yo, Blizzard should have a higher chance to freeze. It needs to freeze more. That is so much damage. Hey, where are we going? Bro, I don't think that matters. My Blizzard is too strong. I got a Bear Tick in the back, which does the exact same thing. Just Icicle Crash. So he might be Rock Polish Rampardos. Uh, this is still 262 Special Attack. You're still going to die, buddy. This is a Blizzard. <laughs> Good B! No, Glaceon! Why? Oh, man. Not bad, not bad at all. I'll pause it, guys, until we find another game. I'll be right back. That's a beautiful first game. Alright, guys, so we got game number two, and this dude gets throttled by Bear Ticket, man. Icicle Crash, superpower. I think Pig Knight gets uh, Thick Fat. So, Icicle Crash, Icicle. That guy has a Pikachu. It's a female Pikachu. You can tell by the little heart. That's cute. I'm observing. That's fire. That's it. That's what you want in a relationship, an observant guy. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, two Stealth Rockers. Kecleon could be AV as well. Glaceon eh, might not be the best here. If I can weaken Pig Knight a bit to the point of HP ground, maybe. Maybe it'll be a little bit better, but I'm sure I need um, a good amount of chip on that boy in order to do so. Uh, you look absolutely ridiculous in this game on my Inferno. So my Inferno is definitely going to be my lead of choice just because in the beginning it puts on so much pressure. The biggest problem from my opponent's team that I'm going to have is, well, there's two. That Pikachu could be like Ash's Pikachu and have Iron Tail. No, I don't, I don't know how well my Snover takes a hit. But this two cannon devours me. Offensively, it devours me. Defensively, nah, it doesn't check any of my ice types. But offensively, it's a threat. And it's fast. But I do love Monferno before its ability to lead well versus basically everything and get up rocks. And rocks are going to be pretty key for chipping away at what could be Silvali water uh, for my Glaceon and... Um, you know, chip on Pig Knight and all that stuff. Chip on Kecleon. Kecleon has good spadef, so it can take a hit from uh, from Glaceon. Yo, I hope my Snow Cloak activates in this game. <laughs> but yeah, Monferno is also decent, I think, versus Pikachu as a lead. I don't, I do not think Pikachu can Oko it, even with uh, its Light Ball boosted attacks. Even with its Light Ball boosted attacks, I don't think it can Oko me, uh, just because Monferno got, I got some decent. I got some decent stats, like like Infernape style, a little bit better, I think. All right, but um, I guess this guy's taking forever. So, uh, end game. All right, cool, we're back. Yeah, there's Pikachu with hat. I do not see a close combat switch, and as, as free as rocks are, this is the better play. Oh shoot, I'm about to die. Wait, you know what? Pikachu about to die. This. I bet you Pikachu dies to Iron Fist boosted. Um, if I saw leftovers, I was about to just laugh. But I think it dies to Iron Fist boosted attack. Uh, unfortunately, I don't get a close combat off on the two cannon coming in, uh, which means it is going to devour something on my team. Uh, as in terms of switch-ins go, like whereas Togetic is good in this game for checking Torterra, I have Ice Shard and multiple Ice types and uh, Kadabra, so I actually rather go Togetic. If you Brave Birds, he takes a ton anyway. Uh, he Rock Blast, great play. Uh, hit Monferno for good damage and also managed to uh, hit my Togetic for some good damage too. Bro, are you choice? Yo, I uh I What am I supposed to do? This thing might be scarf. Alright, I'm gonna have to use my hail immediately to get my bear tick in. Um, because this thing is a problem. So we're gonna ice sharp for just a little bit of damage. Cause that might matter for uh Kadabra. Uh I, I don't know if like for knocking it out, but I, I don't know if uh if bear tick is ready. But I'm gonna use bear tick to hopefully knock this out. And also just start weakening um, what I'm assuming to be a Silvali water because that's all I need for Glaceon to put in work. Uh, so we'll click Isaac Crash here. Uh, if he opts to stay in, I, 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 I hope I hit. <laughs> I hope I hit if he stays in. I would love him to stay in. I think it's Scarf. Ooh, as he ends up going out to Silvali Dark, and that's awesome. That is so awesome. Now, 
I could stay in to sewer power him. Eh, why not? Why would I not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could, and I did it. Yeah, that's why I showed you. So, um, yeah, I have a cadaver. Why would I not want to free up the psychic? So I get rid of that thing. This was the thing I was worried about coming in, but honestly, I think I go Monferno, and uh, I have two options. Yeah, because he, okay, I have a better option now. Because he Flare Blitz, I can actually choose to go for Rocks as opposed to go for Close Combat. Uh, because Rocks would put two cannon in range of Aqua Jet. So, um, I don't know if I'll die to Sewer Power or, or Stomping Tantrum, apparently. But I get Rocks up for two cannon, die to Aqua Jet. I get to click that Close Combat now. That did four! <laughs> yo, yo, that did no type of damage. What? Are you serious right now? Holy crap, that did nothing. That actually did not. That dude is fully physically defeated. 26%. Hey, but get out of my sight, though. And Tucannon does reveal itself to be more than likely Choice Scarf. Uh, as he's going to Rock Blast me. But we got those rocks to put him in range of my Bear Tick. Uh, not looking the worst. Not looking the best, though. I'll be honest. Like, that Pikachu, kind of scary. Pikachu's just a little bit scary. Ends up going out to Torterra. Are you Jolly Max Speed? Because you're going to die. Oh, you're Yeish. Not nah, Yachi, obviously. But, um... Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. My bad, bro. Fudge. <laughs> my bad, bro. <laughs> he can still win, though. I don't think I can beat Kecleon plus Pikachu. Unless Aqua Jet is, like, a lot stronger than I think it is. I don't think I beat this, though. I don't think I beat Kecleon, unless Kecleon was his rocker. Oh my god, Aqua Jet is a lot stronger. But he does get... Very unfortunate, good game. Yeah, he just won. <laughs> you don't gotta say, bro, I still actually have a chance. Hold up, it's called Blizzard Freeze. So we gotta go for my Omni Boost here. Um, let's see if we can do this. That did nothing. Holy crap. All right, let's get us off. Ooh! Holy crap, I won if this hits. Oh, it's leftovers. It hit. Glaceon did it, man. Glaceon for MVP. Holy crap. No sorry in the end. I said sorry in the video, bro. Does it make you feel... I gotta ask him. <laughs> Would it make you truly feel better? Better. I said sorry live. I don't gotta say sorry. Like, <laughs> the, why do I have to type sorry? I already said it. It doesn't make it mean any less. I'm sorry, dude. You know what? What was his name? Asami? Find a user. I got you right now. Asami. Uh, uh, Asami. Me. Chat. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm blocking pirate messages. This is just so many hoops. I gotta go through. <laughs> I'm blocked, PM. I'm sorry, buddy. Nah, I don't. I'm gonna go back to blocking PM. Be good. <laughs> Alright, so. This guy has sticky web. Um, my defogger though is pretty good here. Uh, I can defog on Grumpig. Uh, unfortunately though, Grumpig does have the thick fat, so that's gonna kind of stop my ice dice. But I don't know how well it takes Shadow Ball. I'm, I'm, this thing has good special attack. Uh, the Masquerin is actually annoying, but what I really love in this game is my ability to set up hail just to break sashes and then like Togetic literally everything. Togetic actually beats every mon on my dude's team. Do I want to use Kadabra early to start breaking immediately for, for Bear Tick? Like, basically, because Kadabra is going to force a KO on something with Psychic to 2 a KO everything or Shadow Ball, and then I have Counter. That might be the better play um, to go for an endgame of Glaceon, because I'm trying to get as many Glaceon endgames as possible. Like, this dude might end up just going for the Bug Buzz here or Quiver Dance or whatever. If he goes for Webs, I just go for Psychic into Shadow Ball to knock him out as he goes for Bug Buzz there. Beautiful. I could follow it up with a Shadow Ball here because he hit Grum Pig. Um, and I just successfully prevented webs. And I got the hit I needed on Grumpig. So that's amazing. Like, that doesn't do that much. But two of those are... I should probably save Kadabra. But two of those are enough for uh, for Glaceon. That's for sure. Two of those are definitely enough for Glaceon. Does this thing hurt? Like, bro. <laughs> this mod is a freaking problem, bro. Okay, I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna set up freaking Glaceon now. Even if he has Thunder Wave, I'm gonna beat it because I have that Snow Cloak. I've decided. So anyway, we'll leech seed here. As he goes for Toxic. 
Nice. Uh, every bit of damage on Grumpig is going to matter. I'm just going to Leech Seed again, I think. Actually, I can afford to Bullet Seed here. Uh, even if he goes Masquerade, yeah, because I'm pretty sure with Bullet Seed plus Hail... <laughs> yo, yo, stop showing the damage. I'm embarrassed that I went for that attack. <laughs> yo, that did no type of damage, man. I don't even know if I'm going to kill you. I'm going Glaceon now and setting up. That's it. I could have probably killed him, but why would I not set up in his face? Oh, you hit one, but I'm going to tell you that right now. You're not about to hit another one. And by, I'm talking about Rapidash. Rapidash ain't about to hit me. This is actually terrible, but... So, the reason this is okay is because uh, I'm going to end up getting a hit off of Rapidash most likely. And that's going to basically put him in range of, of Beartick. So, Glaceon and Beartick break for each other. Like, using it early isn't terrible because of that. You better go Rapidash. What if Rapidash just dies? This has almost 600 special attack. Unfortunately, it's not going to. But that'd be fire if it did. Ooh, he gives me a uh, Grumpig. Great, so I don't have to land an Icicle Crash as he doubles out into Komala. But a boss. Hey, you better be ready to take this Blizzard, though. You better be ready to take this Blizzard. He's actually playing around Snow Cloak, and I can respect that. That boy ate. Glaceon just ate that for breakfast. Yum. Ooh, Grumpig barely. Follow up with an HP ground uh, because it will hit Komala and it will hit uh, Grumpig with the attack. And um, as Rapidash comes out, I don't know if you're Scarf or not, but like I said, if you ain't, I, I doubt he's Scarf because this is Sticky Web. Yo, Glaceon is a beast. I, okay, that's not Glaceon being a beast, but that's that's you kind of sucking. I'm gonna be real. That's <laughs> I would love to give that to Glaceon, but that is definitely and it's hitting all these raw blizzards too. <laughs> what a beast, man! Yo, you know what? I was about to click Shadow Ball just for the chip. That way uh, I could defog and then Monferno knocks him out. But why would I not try and get sweets with Glaceon, man? This mod is fire! Woo! Z Celebrate Glaceon is actually crushing the ladder, man. That is insane. That is, that is, bro, and it's hitting all these raw blizzards too, man. They're only 70, this dude has a Panchan. It's like standing on one of the horns of Torterra. <laughs> He's like, wait, put me on your shoulders, bro. I can't see the mods we fight it. Uh, so one of the unfortunate things here is not only does my dude, oh, this is a Sami. Not only does my dude have a Lycan Rock, which I have uh, zero response to, but he has his own Glaceon, so my Glaceon won't be as good here. The great thing is that my Monferno is beautiful. Like, as a lead, is absolutely beautiful. The dude leads off a Panchan. What does this do? It's a baby. <laughs> Look at up rocks as he parting shots into Altaria. That's fine, bro. You know what sucks? I'm going to go Togetic as he parting shots here, and this Lycanroc is about to mess me up. Luckily, he didn't parting shot. So, uh, a few options. Uh, I think the best one is me. Click the yellow color. Um, I'm getting messed up by his little Pancham, bro. This is like Ippo before he got good. As he goes Torterra. Torterra will give me Snowbird to get up the hill. Uh, he definitely has, obviously, his, um, his thing, but... I wonder if I wonder if I go Glaceon now, can I mess him up? But then he gets a no guard mon. Man, Glaceon's so good just naturally. I don't have to celebrate in this game. Let me not make any ridiculously aggressive plays. I'll just leech seed here. I didn't think he'd stay in. Uh, I'm a Snover. <laughs> I figured Panchan would come out. And I, I don't know how much damage this thing takes from anything, but I always get Togetic in, and Togetic doesn't really have a huge role in this game. As he parting shots into what, Glaceon? Hey, if Glaceon comes in with rocks up though, he about to try to mess me up the same way. Hey, that's fine, bro. What's up? Doesn't this thing just crush you? Doesn't this thing absolutely crush you? <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> I am in, I am now. What you got for a well played bear tick, bro? What do you have for a well-played bear tick? He's in! Huh? Got my sight. 
<laughs> All right, so no more blizzard resist, which is amazing. Bullaby comes out. I'm going to get rid of that monster. And uh, my Glaceon in the end is going to mess him up too. He probably goes Lycanroc here. He's going to Aqua Jet. If he doesn't have Sucker Punch, he is going to take a million. What we can do now is go Snover and... Do we sweep with Ice Shard? <laughs> no, we do not. The correct answer is no. But we do sweep with Blizzard. There we go. Hey, nice little Glaceon. That's what, I, that's what I like to see, man. Glaceon coming in and just killing everything. That is beautiful. Absolutely. And, and you know what? I didn't even luck him that time either. He just got Glaceon. He really just got Glaceon. I'll look for another game, guys. I'm going to pause it. We'll be right back. All right, so we definitely need some sort of rock resist on this team because this is crazy. Uh, two cannon clicks, Rock Blast and Golem, uh, both of which are fantastic versus me. And I'm actually forced to lead off with Snover to get up hail to break the sturdy on Golem. Or Komala. That, that works too. I don't have a normal resist either. Um, Monferno can still mock punch. If he sleep talk, I might have just lost as well. Togetic deals with this. I mean, okay, don't get me wrong. Glaceon is, is stupid good in this game, right? Glaceon is stupid good in this game. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go Kadabra just to get a hit off on this thing. As he goes for return. Um... And we'll just Psychic here, if possible. Perfect. So that's the hit I need off of Glaceon. So that's amazing. Uh, I'll get in my Monferno. I don't see a reason not to CC, but it maybe it's better to break Sturdy. It might be better to break Sturdy. All right. As he goes, Golem. So, I mean, I, I guess I broke Sturdy, sturdy with Hail anyway. Oh, he's Leftovers. Okay, so that's fine. Um, every bit of damage on this thing is so good for my Glaceon. And if he actually opts to get up rocks over that, I get to bring out Glaceon now and just click Blizzard. I'm not going to set up in this thing's face. I'll probably set up in something that I can actually set up on for free. There you go. All right, so I stand by my rocks play. Uh, obviously, Kadabra probably still has a Sash, and this Toucanon is going to devour me. But the good thing is if Toucanon comes in and opts to click Rock Blast, it goes Kadabra first. Hmm. I'll take it. I eat this up. There you go. I just dazzle and gleam you. Probably ends up going out to Komala. Uh, if he stays in, I break the sash, and then I get to bring out Snover. And uh, I mean, I could also win the game with Bear Tick too. So there's 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 a there's options here. I'm having that is a little annoying though. Yeah, I'm forced to go Bear Tick now. Click Icicle Crash, get me my kill. Um, I can still Z-Celebrate in front of a few Pokemon, but like this is still good versus a lot of his team, uh, provided the Pinsir doesn't... Provided the Pinsir actually attacks and doesn't go for Z-Me first. Luckily, he ends up going out to Cannon, so I'm not only going to get uh, the hail back up, but Bear Tick's going to get its speed, and he may just end up losing to it. <laughs> Dude, you tried to roast me right there. What the hell? Mm. I'm forced to go you. Let's see if we can land a crash. The crazy thing is, even if I miss this crash right now, I still have a, a, a pretty good shot of winning due to Snow Cloak and uh, Z Celebrate. But yeah, crash just kills everything. Or Glaceon will, so. I'm pretty sure Komala dies. I want to say Pinsir dies. This is strong. Are there no Scarfers in this tier? Pinsir did not die. That boy hit an edge. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see. I got the Snow Cloak. He's going to hit it. Or he's about to Z me to oblivion. He's about to hit it. I got the Snow Cloak on my side. Oh, bless. There it is. Oh, oh no. <laughs> That's why Snow Cloak broke it. Yo, Glaceon just does not... Fail! Glaceon does not fail! Good game, bro. Good game. He knew. That snow cloak right there, man. That's a win con, man. That's like bright power. That's, that's, that's broken. That's Life Orb 2 only doing 27. Glaceon actually is sweeping the ladder. And even if it's luck. That's why, that's why I love having that thing in the back. Or I love using it to break for Bear Tick, man. This is fun. 
Uh, still no rock resist though, which is extremely tough for this team to deal with. So Pyromantis, I don't know if that's possible to fix on a team where you're forced to use ice types. And one of them is really bad, uh, whether it be a Mora or Snover. Then you have to worry about Defog. Alolan Sand Slash is in this tier, right? I think that's NU. Maybe, maybe it is. No, wait, it is. It is, it is. But that's not a resist either. I don't know what they're doing in this chat. It is it's PU. No, that's PU. Okay, yeah, that's PU. Yeah, it's not in this tier. This is ZU. I always forget what, what tier we're playing too. Um, all right, we'll pause it, I guess, until we find another battle, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we got another game, and <laughs> this dude has a Reg Ice, man, and a Crustal. Now, the problem with Crustal is, as a lead, I don't do too well versus it. Glaceon is super good in this game. If I can get rid of the Sturdy, and I can get rid of this. And in order to beat Crustal... <laughs> I think I'm forced to go Kadabra. I'm going towards the end game of Glaceon, but I'm forced to go something like Kadabra. Or I can just try and get up rocks in his face too. I actually think I'm gonna have to keep rocks up this game. He doesn't have a fighting resist. Well, luckily he went for that. But I need I need rocks up just because of the fact that he has um that crustal and that red ice. As he goes out to Silvali Electric. I'll just click swords uh close combat, excuse me. Um that damage is really good for Glaceon. And um while he could have a fire type attack, or he might go for defog here, I'll get up the hail as well. This is really good for bear tick too. So, I get some nice damage off. I don't... Did they run flamethrower? I would assume ice beam. Yeah, I, I would assume something like that. So, I'm going to try and leech seed here. Maybe I'll get... Yeah, reg ice. Perfect. Okay. Hey, and I actually managed to connect too. Beautiful. And like I said, I'm using Kadabra here to try and do as much damage as possible. Um, as he ends up going for a Focus Blast and missing, beautiful for me, so I don't have to worry about my Sturdy, or uh, my Sash being broken, excuse me, and I can just go for Psychic here as he throws off a K-Dilly, and um, another, I think, Rocks, as he Rock Tombs there, oh, and the Hail just barely finishes me off, can I win the game immediately with Glaceon? Can I use Glaceon to open up for Bear Tick? That might be the play. Or I can just go Bear Tick, which he has no resist to, that's real, because I have Super Power plus I don't Crash. That might be the better play. <laughs> Alright, so give me a Pokemon here, sir. So we get Cray Diddly. We don't get rocks in this game, but we got essentially rocks damage off on the uh, Reg Ice as he goes Perugly. I'm going to let him fake me out here. I'll just click that Super Power. He doesn't like switching into this anyway. If he goes Silvalli Electric, sure. Good play. Um, he might be, that might be Silk Scarf damage, I don't know. But as long as I have Glaceon in the back, I'm good. Actually gives me Reg Ice, which is absolutely fantastic. That is amazing. Now, if he goes Crustal, I'm forced to attack him. Ends up going Silvalli Electric, so that gives me my Snover, which means I can break Sturdy as well. As he goes for Thunderbolt. I guess I'll just bullet seed here. I don't see why not. Every bit of damage is cool. Yo, look at little, look at little Snover go. What a beast. Look at him go. Where are your answers to me now? As he goes crustal, and I, I think I, I just, <laughs> I think I actually have to bullet seed. Uh, now, if he has weak armor, <laughs> if he has weak armor, this might be better if I if I retain my 30 million hits I've been doing the entire time. No, he decides I'm just gonna mess you up. That's cool too. Do you KO? Yo, you might KO. This is 394 special attack investment. Get out of my sight. Let's go. Lovely. Perugly comes out. Fakes out. Actually, if he's not thick fat, I'm just gonna click Blizzard here too. Because yeah, if he's not thick fat, this is gonna knock him out too. Exactly. Uh, I don't think that crit mattered if he wasn't thick fat. Probably doesn't have good stats. And Fracture cannot knock me out. And Glaceon, once again, is just stealing the thumbnail, whether it celebrates or not. So that's beautiful. A successful, uh, a successful. ZU suspect test run. Glaceon for sure was the MVP. Beartick though was breaking tons of time. You know that Blizzard is strong. Man. I mean, when you're in a tier where, you know, your best Pokemon is Electivire and Shift Tree. I mean, <laughs> anything is strong, I guess. But I hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Your boy is climbing. Can't wait to have Mephisto back on. We'll be continuing the suspect test run. 
uh, either here on his channel or on Patreon. Just keep, keep uploading a few more. We'll definitely have at least one or two more episodes, though, um, on YouTube. So, of course, if you guys did enjoy, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Like I said, I'm super close to 200K. I am less than 400 subscribers. I know YouTube doesn't show the actual number anymore, but I'm like 199,660... 60 something uh so we are really close but yeah thank you everybody for watching i'll see you guys next time goodbye my friends